You missed my 25k. What did you redeem? Uh, target got redeemed. Oh, words. All right, guys. Let's see if we can beat the mage. Do you think I can beat the mage with Warlock? Prediction. Prediction. Uh, what did I want to do? Google for Talon. Target. 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 I am hitting the target with my cart. Oh, look what I got there, guys. I got the ogre. Then it is ogre and out for him. Guys, why don't they show GM live? Uh, they will show the rest of the matches live. The first two matches are played off stream. Today, there will actually be GM broadcast. The decider matches are going to get played. So all the people that are currently 1-1 one, one are going to play. So for example, the number 1's already ad advanced. Oh. Huh. Can't see it now. Yeah, let's just tap here. It should be fine, right? I will do it this order to draw the more chance on drawing fragments. Even this early on, I just want to try to draw as many fragments as I can. So all the people that are going first, for example, Psycho advanced in group A and Vulcane is out. And today Varma and Ardu playing the decider match there for who advances there. So I'm already through as I want to. Zim is out and uh, Casey Switch playing decider match. That's kind of how it goes. Uh, that's pretty big. Why is he playing it so big? I'm not gonna hit there. If he gets three armor, it's fine, right? So we have now our Cascading Disasters Corrupted. In this matchup, guys, it's really important you're kind of calculating out his burn. Especially because he went coin flow. And you're like, Thais, but it's just coin flow. What does that mean? Good question. I will answer you. Uh, whenever your opponent coins flow, it means they will not go Deck of Lunacy. Because if he now goes Deck of Lunacy, he will suddenly get... Um, himself, Libram of um, Hopes. So if he knows what to do, he shall now, after going uh, coin flow against Warlock, he shall never go deck of lunacy anymore. And I expect my opponents to also know that. We have there a raid going. Did I hear the raid sound? Sorry, I was in my not like this uh, talking mode. Who raided us, guys? Why do I not see the raids, man? Ah, because I put it off, that's why. Huh. That makes sense, actually, right? Mr. Yogurt! How are you doing, ya good? I saw you were also doing really well on the high legend ranks. That was awesome to see. Uh, I think we're just gonna go Cascading Disaster here. It's pretty good. Because it also corrupts my uh, tree drop. So then I can play it next turn. Draw a card, put, put more fragments in. Thank you, Mr. Yagood, there for the raid. How are you doing? What rank are you on at the moment? And glad you are streaming so much. If you need to see some Pepka Rogue decks, guys, Mr. Yagut has come up with a lot of good Pepka Rogue decks at the moment. Okay, double flow plate. So he already played double Apex Blast. And did you guys see that he played Apex Blast on the minions? So that is a very, very questionable play. In this matchup, you shouldn't really Apex Blast minions. Because now with him going double Apex... Like, you need to remove the minions. But he shall do it with Devolving Missiles, Brain Freeze, Combustion, whatever. He used two Apex Blasts that can deal 10 damage on minions. Shall by the way, by the way, be here in the middle. So he now has two fireballs left, a ruined orb left, and double mask of Cthulhu left. Our goal is to play as well around mask of Cthulhu as we can, so we don't take the full ten in the face. Very weak poly. Not a great one at all, guys. 
The main target to poly is kind of the turn where you... Um, what was this too? After you cast a holy spell. No holy spells, right? Call of Cult. I mean, School Spirit seems pretty good here. Last Tapa. Last Tapa chat. Played in the middle, play around Combustion a bit better. Oh, it doesn't matter. The minion is gone anyway. Wait. The secret didn't pop? Wait. He plays it in a deck, right? He's main decking rigged fair game. Oh my god, what a greed. Oh no, it was Rune Arp. Well, minus one fireball, guys. We dealt with one. <laughs> that card is really important in the matchup, guys. The fireball. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> The fireball got fired out of his deck. <laughs> Tessa, what time does GM start to stream matches? Um, the Europe one start. Whoa, no, no, no. So this is not a great deck of lunacy, but I don't mind it from his spot here because he is very behind. But um, so now his seven mana spells are five mana. So he's going to make the, the seven mana spells are going to become eight mana. Because they're now costing 5 mana in the deck, they will become 8 mana spells. What are the, what are even the scary 8 mana spells? This It's just Desperation? Yeah, this was just Desperation. I agree. Alright, and here we go guys. Alex, heal me. God, this match feels so good, guys. When it's going well, it feels actually like a pretty good matchup. My powers are never truly gone. Ty's deck of lunacy is really okay. It even interrupts questions now. Oh, sorry about that, yeah. So we can still tick him for three. A tick is a tick, right? Thais, I wish you could stream Grandmasters. I wish as well. It would be so awesome. But uh, GM Grandmasters for Europe starts around uh, 3.30 p.m. Europe time. In like about 5 hours from now or something. Created by Deck of Lunacy. Okay, that is kind of annoying. Let's go Tick. I'm gonna to get some healing in. I'm still gonna play this. But I also wanna take one healing in. Okay. Okay. It's fine. So he's probably having a Mask of Cartoon there on the left. Need to think about that, but it shall be fine. We have so much healing, so many fragments in the deck. Like, there's no way he burns me from here, right? Not gonna tap, no reason. This shall do it. As another fireball, okay. Little order there from him. That's fine. The game is ogre and out chat, if you get what I mean. Pretty decent matchup, guys. I like this matchup kind of from the warlock side. I feel it's uh, this list is really good at beating mage. So I like to prepare a lot for uh, tournaments the days before the tournament happens. On the day itself, I don't want to play too much Hearthstone. So yesterday, I uh, I just went over the matchups, I looked at statistics, I looked up on like what are the important win rate cards in matchups, I went over game plan, but I think I only played two games myself. I don't like to play too much on, uh, on the match day itself, before. 
I feel it's like uh, working more against me than helping. Guys, I bet all my life savings. Don't do that. I feel you're confusing yourself too much. Like you need to be in the right mindset. You need to think clearly. And let's say you are faced, you play like a few letter games or you play a few games and you face five games of mages in a row. And then you play against mage. You're even getting confused on what cards are in his deck or... So it's probably a Miracle Priest or... Oh no, wait! It's Katoon Priest. Oops. Oops. It's fine. This was still the pick, right? Let's make a toxic board. Okay, there are two really important cards, guys, against Priest. Jurexus and uh, Ticatus. We got our boy Jerexus already. We Gucci. This matchup is unlosable. Right? I don't think you're allowed to lose to control priest guys with Warlock. Two ogre is too many ogre, chat. Remember Elusia ties into Ticatus? No, I don't think so. Okay. All right. Are you ready for turn nine, chat? This magic is super good. Super good. Okay, it's not a bad draw. Let's do that. Alright, he's ready. The boy is ready. I think we have to wait with uh, Yashiraj, guys. I mean, we're getting some stuff already, but I think we're gonna need the double tick. Yeah, there is your Illusia, huh? I mean, we can also just kill him, lol. I guess he's not having Illusia, guys. What do you think in the hand? Not gonna play it, because I expect here an uh, Apotheosis getting played. And then I want to get the Cascading. There we go. Yeah, I think it's better the way I did. A minus 10? Yeah, it just tickles, guys. Did you feel the tickle? Hee hee hee. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Why are you tickling me, priest? Infernal! So two uh, Katoon spells left. We need to think about Katoon. Elusia has like wink wink, guys. So how many? Five. Infernal! Ty, should I craft a pre-stack or wait for a balance patch? I think you should wait for a balance patch for making big crafts. 
Because we have no idea what is gonna happen, kinda. And I bought in general. Priest is kinda always a little bit of a deck in the middle. Because it's a very countering deck, so priest deck lists also always change like so much. This is not what we stood for. Man, I want my tick. Where is my tick chat? Ha 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 Let's get the number one. Sounds good. Um, so if we Yashrash, we get the cascading back, right? It's pretty good. We get... Uh, we can just win by tempo, right? We get strongman, we get um, cascading, and we're getting the three four draw card. Hysteria, I know, is a full kill, guys, but it doesn't really do that much pressure. Oh wait, I had two of these. Oh god, that's a misplay then. I didn't know I had two corrupted ones. Because then I uh, don't have to kill. What's well, kind of sucky. Huh. That was not that great. Then I guess I could have just... I mean, still okay. We still do good play. Yog! He's playing Yogurs, guys. Yogurs Poggers with the rush. Mrah, mrah, mrah. Mrah, mrah, mrah. <laughs> That was a really bad uh, yog for him. <laughs> He's like, I don't want to suffer anymore. I'm wondering, guys, if you win with that play, though. I shouldn't underestimate Priest, because this deck draws so much. And Priest doesn't. So if it gets, like, the right cards at the right time, kind of, it can actually be a pretty annoying matchup, maybe.